evening, dear viewers. Tonight's scary news is brought to you by me and your favorite host, Kissy Missy. Hi, everyone. So, let's get started. After the second game with dragons, everything went downhill. Firstly, Miss Delight got eaten by a dragon and doctors still can't get her out. Secondly, Catnap went nuts after not winning the tomato factory and decided to eat all the existing tomatoes in the world but couldn't, and now he's in critical condition in the hospital. Also, Pomni, the winner of the second game arrived at her factory where she was immediately crushed by a giant statue of Dog Day in a tomato. What the hell is my statue doing there anyway? Hey, we're in live, idiot! Oh, what was I? Oh, yeah! And finally, Bobby crapped a freaking ton! What?! At my house?! You little... Oh! Um, Kissy? Well then, it's been Kissy, Missy, and Dog Day until the next news! Somebody get me out! Shut up, stupid brainless teacher! Otherwise, I'll throw you out the window right now! Tomatoes! I can't feel my limbs! What the hell? Where's that damn doctor? Hi, everyone! Well, your doctor is here! What the hell are you, a doctor? Me? Oh no, I'm not a doctor, I'm a nurse! Your doctor is mommy! Who's hurting where? Hey, Catnap, how you feeling? <laughs> Got it! Kissy, bring me a full syringe of chocolate milk! <laughs> I hate chocolate milk. That's the spirit. Oh, Kissy, bring me a bicycle tire pump. What? Don't worry, it won't hurt. No, stop. How what? How is this possible? Hmm, this one's a bit more complicated. I'm kind of used to it, so we can just leave everything as is. Oh, uh, no way. You still gotta teach and chase after kids. We can't be without a teacher. Kissy, bring me the spiciest pepper. <gasps> Well, that's that. So are you really a doctor? My finger's cut. Can you fix it? What? Blood? Ah! Kissy, give it back. It's mine. No way. You took new legs from my store and didn't pay. So now this bone is mine. Oh, just kill me. Okay, class. Let's start. Today, we're going to learn about the letters in the alphabet. Are you seriously teaching us the alphabet in 11th grade? Yep. I like going over it. It sticks better that way. Going over it for 11 years straight? Oh, I know the letter I. Because it's in your name. In my name? I'm definitely going to freak out with you guys someday. Hey, everyone. We're having a drill today. So when you hear the alarm, just stay put and keep studying. Bye, guys. Oh, come on. Why a drill? Nobody learns anything in this school. Everyone's dumb. All right, let's begin. So the first letter we're going to learn is P. Why not A? Why P? I've got my own alphabet, and P is the first letter in it. Did someone call me? No, we're talking about the letter P. But my name starts with P. Yeah, but your name's not P. It's Pomni. Oh, hey, I'm here. What did you want? One more dumb move like this, and I'll burn you all myself. It's a drill. Poppy said stay put. Um, doesn't feel like it to me. Why? All right, let's write down the next letter. O. Um, Miss Delight, there's fire behind you. That's impossible. I know you're itching to leave early, but you're not going anywhere until we finish the alphabet. Weird. Why is it so hot in here? Oh, Fo, just turn around already. Ah! Fire! Everyone out! We're on the first floor, so everybody out the window! Uh, brain dead idiots. Okay, maybe I'll just go home and play video games or something. Holy crap, why is the toilet paper at school so damn rough? My butt's itching like crazy! Uh. Huh? What do we have here? Uh... Oh, hey, Bobby. Good to see you here. I could really use someone's help. Um, fine. I'll pretend I don't give a crap what you're doing here. Hand me the quantum amplifier, please. Okay. So, how are your new classmates? You guys getting along? Well, if don't count the fact that they're complete idiots, then yes. Great! As the school director, I care about the emotional well-being of our students. Give me the nuclear spectrometer. And also the quantum diffractometer. Um, listen, it's none of my business, but what the hell is going on? I just want to resurrect Mommy Longlegs because she got killed in the second episode. Why though? She used to work as a cook at our school, and ever since she died, we've been eating dead rats and cockroaches. Uh, yummy. Step back now. One, two, three! Whoa, I'm alive again! Mommy is here! Good to hear! So being dead was really tiring! And when I was dead, they said I could come back as a trash container. But as soon as I wanted to say yes, you made me alive again! Oh, what a bummer. It's okay! I'm happy to be back. Now, I'll be feeding everyone with my cooking again. And if you don't like it, then I'll stuff it down your throat and you'll die a painful death! <laughs> you know, I'm starting to regret you bringing her back. Everything's alright. She'll be fine soon. Ah!
Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Are you completely nuts? Well, I need to go now. Dog Day stuck in the toilet, and I need to help him. By the way, Bobby, you didn't forget about Date X, did you? No, don't remind me of that. See you, Bobby. I hate your cooking. What did you say? Get over here, you little brat. You'll regret that. Ah! Is that a flower? You know I get sick from flowers? Kissy Missy seems upset today, but don't worry, I'm sure you two will make up, especially since it's her birthday tomorrow and you can make it right. Yeah, yeah, I understand, but if you get her a good gift, everything will be fine, you know? Just don't give her chocolate milk, because Catnip will be at the birthday party too. Did you say my name? Oh, uh, oops, Catnap? Didn't expect to see you? <laughs> How are you feeling? Nah, good. Good to hear. <laughs> you know, I kind of lost it that time and shouldn't have eaten your legs. I hope you're okay. Oh, it's okay, Catnap. The new metal legs from the ballerina suit me fine. Oh, God. Sorry about that. Let's forget about it. Want to go to the school cafeteria and grab a snack? Let's go. They're giving out fresh chocolate pie right now there. Mm. You know I hate everything with chocolate. Catnap, I'm sorry. I didn't know you don't eat chocolate pies either. I thought it was just chocolate milk. For this, I'll must to kill you. Catnap, wait. I've got an idea. They also have lemon pies at the cafeteria. Oh, really? I love lemon pies. So, are we going? Jerk. You can't just barge into my room, breaking my door whenever you feel like it. You'll regret throwing me against this damn wall, you purple freak. Come at me. It's time for you to go to bed, buddy. We need to stop this somehow. But how? If we step in, we'll get beaten up too. I don't care. Come on, Haggy. You're a man, so go and break up their fight. No, Haggy, Dog Day can't do it because he doesn't have legs. Oh my god. What's going on here? You asked Bobby to bring Nightmare Catnap to you so you could enroll him in our school. And he didn't do it? No, he did. But he also smashed Catnap's door and insulted Dog Day rudely, calling him a yellow piece of shit. I see. I'll deal with them right away. Hey, you two! Stop it right now! You shouldn't have ignored Miss Poppy the doll because she can get angry. Whoa, she's so cool. I want to do that too. Yeah, skull fight. All right, guys, today we've got a test. What? Who wrote this on the board? Haggy? He's not asleep, he's just ignoring me, so we can't discuss our relationship problems. Damn, my legs are getting swollen. But they're made of metal. Yeah, and that's why they make an electronic sound when you fart. <laughs> Enough, you guys are driving me crazy. Ah! Lama will start writing the test. Um, Miss Delight, if you keep sneaking up on us like that, it's going to be hard for us to take the test. Okay. Then I'll ask questions, and you'll look at me and write down the answers on a sheet. And the first question, what's 2 plus 2? 37. Are you stupid? How 37 is 28? How can you not know that? Sick of these freaking annoying jerks. Do you guys happen to have a spot for me? Um... Oh yeah, great. Now I'll be here. So what do we have here, a test? Stop! You can't be here, Critter. You're in second grade, and this is the 11th! Oh, come on, do you think I can't handle your program? Besides, it's impossible to sit with those degenerates. They're incredibly dumb. <laughs> then let's see how you write this 11th grade test. All right, class, what's two plus two? Are you serious? 37. 28. Ah, uh, kill me. Four. Wrong. What do you mean? It's 49. Are you sure you can work as a teacher? Yeah, why? But you don't even know the answer to... Ah, uh, forget it. Class is over. Now everyone get out of the classroom so you can run away from me, and I'll chase you and try to kill you. But we just started. You know what? I changed my mind. I don't want to study in your class anymore. You're just as brainless idiots, and shove this test up your ass, Miss Delight. Got it? Ugh. Damn, what the hell did I do to deserve all of this shit? 
Hey, Catnap, open the door. I got a surprise for you. Catnap, I hear you in there. Yeah, open up this darn door, you angry bony sack. What did you say? Oops, oh, um, who are you? Where's Catnap? It's me, idiot. Because of that chocolate milk you gave me again yesterday, I had an allergy and turned into this creature. Oh, that's terrible, Catnap. I didn't expect that. Maybe some soft lotion for feet might help. I got some left. Are you still mocking me? Want to see me eat the rest of your body? Uh, no, of course not, Catnap. I just... Somebody called me. What? Another Catnap? How's that possible? I have a machine at home that can clone bodies. So I made a couple of dozen copies of myself just in case. Really? That's so cool. Can I see? No way, asshole. He's kidding. This is my twin brother. Hey, bro fools. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are brothers? You never told me you had a brother, Catnap. That's because we're not blood brothers. I was adopted from a shelter when we were really little. But I don't remember you, even though I've been friends with Catnap my whole life. I lived in the basement, which explains why I look like this. Who else did it bring? Sorry for busting your door. Hate waiting. Hey, nightmarish catnap. You're awaited by Poppy and Miss Delight to enroll you in our school. Wait, you guys know each other? Yeah, I've known him for like 10 years. But how? He's been living in Catnap's basement all this time, dummy. But why didn't I know about this? Are you kidding me? Am I your mommy to know everything for you? Also, you owe me 10 bucks for that chocolate milk you bought yesterday. And if you don't pay me today, you'll end up without hands, all you yellow piece of shit. Okay, I've gone too far. Gonna go scare some kids. Is it just me, or does this little jerk get away with too much? We don't give a shit about you. But where's Haggy? Haggy, why are you late? Well, never mind, I don't care. Where's my damn gift? Wow, what's this? Colored pencils? Thank you, Haggy. Kissy, I think these pencils look like, um... They're just pencils to me, because I love to draw. I mean, this is a weapon with Miss DeLay's pencils. What? What do you mean? Haggy, is this true? Did you steal Miss DeLay's weapons? Holy crap, where's my weapon? It's gone! Oh, now this is getting interesting. Want some chips? Haggy, you can't do that! You can't steal Miss DeLay's weapons to congratulate me on my birthday. That's it, Haggy. I'm upset. Get the hell out of my birthday! Do you think it's so easy to steal my stuff? You're dead freaking wrong, you piece of trash! And so every birthday, I'm going to my room. Sue, how's my pie? Like a dog shit. True. Um... How did he know about that ingredient? We agreed to keep it secret from everyone. <laughs> hey guys, what are you drinking? If you suggest chocolate milk right now, you might lose your hands. I wouldn't mind though. Oh, no, uh, I only have one pack. But actually, I wanted to ask you guys, where's Poppy? Why the hell do you need her? Oh, just wanted to ask her out on a date. <laughs> What's so funny with you guys? Forgive me, but you shouldn't do that. Why? Because you're a pathetic piece of shit. What did you say, freaking jerk? I'm kidding. She won't date you, because she's older, and besides, you don't have legs. Yeah, legs are a problem. I need to go to the Kissy Missy store. Oh, I'm in. I was just thinking of getting myself a new eye. Does she really have a store, or is it a human meat market? All right, then. I'll go get some new legs. Thanks for the help, guys. Oh, by the way, does anyone want this milk? No, wait. Catnap, I didn't offer it to you. No! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Well, that's going too far, mate. True. Maybe I should stick a bottle into your ass, too. Ah! Ah! <laughs> hey, Kissy Missy. Why are you crying? Nobody loves me. Well, I love you. I don't give a shit about you. Huggy Wuggy doesn't love me. You know, you're not alone in this. Ketnep hates me after yesterday. Why's that? I offered him chocolate milk, forgetting he's allergic. And he ate my legs. Ooh. And by the way, everyone thinks you're missing. 
I'm missing in the game? Because that's how the script goes. But now we're not at work, we're backstage. And all these days I've been crying here alone. Um... Listen, I can talk to Huggy about you if it makes you feel better. Really? Sure. But it's hard for me to move since I have no legs, and finding Huggy might take a while. Oh, you know, I think there were a couple of spare legs left in my store. Follow me. A few moments later. Um, so you sell legs? Yes! In my store, we have a variety of goods. I can offer you a skull, a cactus, a fart bag, a galactic blaster, a live chicken, <laughs> And even chocolate milk! Kissy, no! What have you done? You shouldn't have said chocolate milk! Chocolate milk? Yes, chocolate milk! Kidnap might hear it! Why can't I say chocolate milk? I have lots of chocolate milk in my store! Who said chocolate milk? I hate chocolate milk! Two hours later... So what were you saying about catnip? Never mind. Oh look, there are pink legs left. Want them? Okay, I'll take them. Don't wiggle! I'm the princess of this castle now, and I should be on the dragon! Ah! I don't get how she could win. Alright, while Miss Delight gets used to her castle, I'll bring dragons for the game. Ow! What was that for? If it weren't for you, she wouldn't have fallen on me from the sky and I would have won this castle! But how is it my fault? If anyone should be hit, it's Bobby. He pushed her off the cliff. Next time, I'll feed her to the dragon. Alright, we're ready to start. So, the second of the ten games is called Tomato Blaze. Each of you will have your own dragon, and your task is simple. Just stay alive. The winner gets a tomato factory. Wait, where's Miss Delight again? I'm here! <laughs> what? How did you end up inside? Well, I was trying to fly on it, and it ate me. Alright, never mind. Let's start the game right now. How do you control this thing? Why is he so disobedient? No one's taking my tomatoes! No, wait, wait, not there! Are you all okay? Maybe I can bring some tomatoes for anyone? Hey, Catnap, good to see you. You know what day it is today? Uh, no. Today's chocolate milk day. Are you sick of living? Chill out. I won't offer you chocolate milk. I've got strawberry milk instead. We can drink it to celebrate. So on chocolate milk day, we're celebrating with strawberry milk? Yeah, sounds weird, but no other options. Are you in? Fine, give it to me. This is chocolate milk! Catnap, I'm sorry. I got confused. I have your strawberry milk. You know what's coming for lying to me. Spare me, Catnap. I just grabbed myself chocolate milk for this occasion. But please don't eat my legs. Kissy Missy doesn't have any normal legs left in the store. Meow. Why does this taste like a dumpster? Did you get it from the dumpster again? Um... I just like milk from the trash container. <laughs> but yours, the strawberry one, it's fresh. Catnap, wait! No! Yo, where's Dog Day? We gotta start this game already. 
Hey, you all, I'm here. Where'd you wander off to? I was helping newbies get into this world. Who are they? Oh, just Pomni from the Digital Circus and Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. What the heck are they doing here? Well, there aren't any rules against it, so try to be nicer, buddy. Hey, everyone. Sup? Hey, Pomni, hope this kaleidoscopic world ain't freaking you out? <laughs> nah, I'm used to weird, crazy worlds that make your head spin. <laughs> but seriously, where we are and why it's so high here? I ain't ready to die. Alrighty, folks, everyone's happy. Let's get this game rolling. Hold up, but that Teddy just pushed the teacher off the cliff. He should be kicked out. And Bobby. But I didn't see that. Yeah, was Miss Delight even around? But he did it right in front of us. Why is no one believing me? I believe you. Really? Ah, yeah, but what exactly are we talking about? Ah. All right, rules time. Get ready for a series of games, and the first one is the cross notes game. You split into four teams. And in the middle, there's an item. The team that grabs it first... Wins, right? No, Kissy, shut up. There's more. The one who gets the item first has to knock out the others who will try to do the same to you. And whoever stays alive with the item wins and gets a castle with a dragon and a princess as a prize. So, starting in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Missy's moving to her new castle! <laughs> oh no! We gotta get that weapon from her! Bobby, hurry, I need help! Bobby? Damn. Looks like I'm the last one standing. Where's my castle? Ah! No! Oops, did I miss something? Um, you, Miss Delight, just won the castle. Ah! Oh, yay! Oh. Uh, hi, Catnap. How did you sleep? Uh, hello, not very much. I had a strange dream. And what did you see in your dream? You were there without legs. Oh, what a horror! You know, when I have nightmares, I always drink milk. Would you like to try it? I just have a little left. Um, okay. <sighs> Is this chocolate milk? Yes, I love chocolate milk. And you? You know I'm allergic to chocolate. Oh, I'm sorry, Catnip. I completely forgot that you are allergic to chocolate. Ahaha. <laughs> There just isn't a large selection of milk in the store. But our store has been closed for a week now because Kissy Missy has disappeared. Where did you get this chocolate milk? Um, in a trash container near the store. 